Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. This is Sakura, and I'm really happy you joined my video today. I moved into a new apartment a few months ago and finally finished my work from home desk setup, so I'm introducing it to you today. I do have limited space for my desk, so I wanted to make sure to build something that was quite simple but pretty, fully functional with lots of storage for the stuff I need, as well as you know, relatively affordable with intentional pieces that I love using. I work 100% remotely, so I wanted to have a clean space that also made me feel happy. So if you want to know how I built this setup with the pieces I bought, keep watching this video. At first when I moved into our new apartment, I had no clue what kind of a setup I wanted to have. So what I did was start with the biggest piece, which is getting a desk. I ordered this one from Amazon and it was a really cheap desk, which I was really happy about. And I decided to go with a lighter color. So this is this light wood with the white frame. And I feel like by choosing the desk, I chose the rest of the theme for the setup that I didn't even realize at the time. The reason why I chose this one particularly was because it had some smart storage space. So as you can see, we built the small shelf that goes underneath the main board. And then on the left side, there's a little hook for headphones, which I thought was really great and accessible. And also on the right side, there's like a sheet with pockets so that you can store even more stuff. The second big thing that I did was start by getting this mouse pad. And I got it from the store Three Coins, which was really inexpensive. I believe it was something like 800 yen. I chose this pale green color as the accent color that worked out as the theme for the rest of the setup, which I ended up loving. Next is an item that I really love and acts sort of as the centerpiece for my desk, which is my keyboard. So this is the Royal Clutch Gaming Keyboard. I believe it's the 68 number of keys that a lot of people actually have. I don't think I needed the full keys, and again, because it is a smaller desk, I didn't want to get something too overwhelming. And after having used it for several months now, I can say this is just perfect for me. Now I really did like the clean white look of the keyboard, but I knew I wanted to change the keycaps and try customizing it. It was my first time doing it, and there was definitely a learning curve, but it was quite easy. So what I did was I ordered the keycaps that I wanted on Amazon and then the keyboard itself comes with some tools that you can use to exchange keycaps. If you're a keyboard noob like me, don't worry, it's very easy. You just use the tool to take out the cap that you want to exchange one by one and then you will use the caps that you do want to use and push them in to the place that you want them to fit in. The keycaps that I got on Amazon, I really, really loved. I think the color of the light green was a little bit off from what I imagined, but you know, that's okay. So I actually kind of made it a Frankenstein keyboard where I put on some of the caps, the new ones, onto the keyboard and I left most of the main part of the letters, just the white. So it kind of looks interesting with a combination of three different colors, but I thought it was okay because it matches the rest of the desk. Also, I apologize. I took footage of the monitor when I got it, but somehow I lost that footage. So I'm just going to tell you which one I got. And I specifically chose that monitor because of the color. And of course it met my other needs. So this is the brand MSI. The business monitor in 27 inches, it's compatible with HDMI and USB-C which I need for my MacBook Pro which is my work computer. This is one of the best budget monitors on the market right now, although I kind of do regret not getting a 4K monitor, but that's okay. Next, let's talk about the cable management. Of course, mine is not perfect by any means, but I did do my best to make it as simple as possible. All the cores that are connected to the computer is fed through the side of this cable box that I got from Ikea. And I have a power strip and a USB power cord in there as well. To save space on the top of my desk, I got a vertical laptop stand from Amazon which holds both of my laptops and I can connect it directly to the cord HDMI. This little wire clip I got from 3Coins, again very cheap, it's for 300 yen. 
So you can see where things plug into the computer can get a little bit messy. So that's where I decided to put the little clips so that I can match my cables just a little bit more. To be honest, I guess it didn't make that much of a difference, but I guess I just wanted to try it out anyway. I try to put all three of the cords on the little thingy, but the HDMI cable was a little bit too thick. So I guess I'll just have to deal with it that way. After I did this, it's kind of just the remaining pieces to finish up the setup. Let's talk about the decorations. I got this white crate from Ikea. Again, very, very cheap. And I stuffed it with the essentials that I need for my desk. So first I have this little mirror that I got. Uh, I actually got this for free when I went to a cosmetic store the other day. So I guess this is cheap because it's free. I then have this little cute green notepad that I got from Loft. It matches the nice green. I like the grid and has some little pixel art avocado, which I thought was really cute. Of course, I have to have my hand cream. This is from Aesop. I really like the smell of this. And I keep it by my desk because I feel like my hands get so dry being by the window and typing all the time. I keep this cuticle oil stick also, just in case my hands need even more nourishment. I also have a colored chapstick. This is by Nivea. It has a little bit of a color so that I don't look like a zombie when I'm on screen on Google Meets. And of course, I cannot live without my holy grail chapstick, which is this Carmex one. This one is the lime flavor, which is absolutely delicious and of course matches the theme of my desk, which is the green color. So that's what I have in this little basket here. As you can see in the back, I also put my Alexa on the right side of it. There's this little fake plant that I got off of Amazon. I love the shape of the pot because it's so round and cute. And then I thought the plant itself also looks quite realistic. So I just wanted to add a little bit more green to my desk. Now this is a light box that you can customize. As you can see, I chose my workstation as the words that I wanted to use. It took, you know, anywhere from five to 10 minutes to set it up. It's not the best of quality because it was really cheap. I got it from Flying Tiger, but I do feel like it fits the theme very well. So I do like it. You also, of course, have to have a charger for your phone. And I got this one off of Amazon. Again, I just really like the white color and the utility of it. So as you can see, there's three spots you can charge stuff. This little flap is for an Apple Watch if you have one. I don't, so I just keep that closed. And then you can also charge your AirPods in the bottom here. So I thought that this was really useful. When you put your phone on the charge, it lights up. And then I also like to charge my AirPods Pro on the bottom. And lastly, let me show you my mouse. I love it. This mouse, first of all, it is so cute. I love the color. It's super ergonomic. This is by the brand Logi and it has a little scroll on the top and then it is a wireless mouse that can connect to multiple devices. So you just press that button to connect via Bluetooth or connect via the USB. So it's really nice because I used to have a magic mouse, which I did like, but it's not ergonomic and it cannot connect to two devices. And this one you can just switch on and off between my work laptop and my personal laptop. So this is like super clutch and one of my favorite items. And obviously it matches my newly decorated keycaps and keyboard. So I think it just goes really nicely together. All right, so that was a quick tour of my work from home desk setup. I hope it provides a little bit of inspiration for you. The only thing that I don't have the link to is that lamp there. I got it from my company, unfortunately, so I don't know where it's from. I'll leave everything else in the description down below. I certainly hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please feel free to give this video a thumbs up, leave me a comment as well as subscribe to my channel. Until next time, see you on my next video. Thanks so much for watching.